howdy howdy y'all it's shannon from creative chaos in tennessee and today i am back with this week's mixed media mayhem um the prompts were to use green something wet and wood so um i am back doing another layout of jurassic park um it's just some funny selfies that i took um you know, with T-Rex poking out background. Um, and I have this wood veneer. I have so much of it. And, ugh, I don't know. I love it, and I buy it all the time. But then I find myself not using it. So I'm going to try to work it in. I'm going to use this stamp set to do a little bit of um, mixed media on there. Um, this is a Timo stamp set that I have. And I just cut these out on my Cricut, and I ink up the edges with the ground espresso distress oxide. This is from a swap that someone made. Sarissa, um, I think is how you pronounce it. And I have my stamp ready to roll. I'm actually using up some more um, basic gray paper. And um, let's see. It, this orange piece is the same one I used in the other layout. It's from the out of print. Um, basic gray. That was the actual name of it. Um, and the other two papers, this green one and this green one, is from Marjolaine. And um, so I'm just excited to be using up the old paper. Combined it up using it. Um, I'm sorry, y'all, but I want to hoard it because you can't get it, and I love basic gray. Um, okay, so pretty much I've already just um, put my pictures down to mat them up. I'm going to use this paper. I've kind of laid out what I want to do, but I also want to um, do a little bit of mixed media on this one and use this stamp and um, do a little bit more pattern on there. So... I'm just going to use some of this, um, the espresso, um, ink. Let's see if it'll show up. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, I like this stamp set because it almost looks kind of like tire tracks. I mean, it's a mixed up stamp set, but to me, it kind of looks like tire tracks. So... And I think of the little Jeeps whenever I think of um, Jurassic Park. It's not stamping super good. I don't know if it's my ink that's starting to run dry or just the stamp. Normally it stamps really good. I'll just rub it on a little bit and put it on because it don't got to be perfect it's just giving it a little something extra it's also hard to show up on pattern paper because this one's pattern too I think my ink has just about had it with this one. I have used it a lot. It's probably my favorite brown one that I actually have. So, okay. So, I'm having my green using my paper. Um, for I'm gonna use my wood veneer for my wood, and then I am using this Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray in Lime, which is also green, but it's also something wet. So I'm just going to add a little bit of it for the background. I thought this lime color would work out really good with the Jeep in the pictures because it's that that lime color. So. I 
and y'all know me I hate waiting for dry time so I will probably take a paper towel more than likely and dry this up some so I don't have to wait I kind of want to have a little more and got it all over my finger and the table Dried up a little bit so I don't have it on everything else. Um, I'm wondering what this would look like if I actually sprayed it. Um, maybe not too bad. Okay, gonna do it a little bit. Ah! Okay, I actually like that, y'all. My piece of paper is going to pretty much go here, so I don't need to, like, put it all over the place because some of it's going to be hidden. The only bad part is, is as it absorbs, it's losing a little bit of the color. Like, you can still see the green spots, but it's almost like it's not as bright and it's going away. And I don't like that, so... Let me add a little bit more and see what happens. How did that get everywhere? My goodness. Okay. Let's see if it'll stay some of the color now. It's absorbing into the paper. It's not that bright. Hmm. What now? What now? I think I will add a few spatters of white. I don't know if white will show up or if it will absorb too. I've had all these um, sprays for a while, but I tend to use the white more than any others. Um, but I don't use them a whole lot because I'm not, I'm not super good at mixed media. I'm still learning and trying and all that stuff, but... And I have fun doing it. Huh. Well. I don't know. I don't know that that's absorbing in like the green did. So uh, I don't know. This is just plain old basic gray paper. So um, it is a little thick. But. It's not anything special. Um, okay. I don't really want to pat it off like I normally would. Just because it'll take and pull the color off. Um, and it's already absorbing in. So, I don't know. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. And I'll come back. Okay, and we're back. It's not 100% dry, but I think it's dry enough that we can go ahead and put our other stuff down. Okay, so I want to start by laying this down. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue. Just to give it a little bit of pattern in there. <coughs> Sorry, my son is sick. He came home from camp yesterday and he hasn't felt well since. So, yeah. Probably going to have an urgent care visit in our future. Um... Just gonna put my pictures down. I'm not gonna glue all the way to the edge that way I can still tuck stuff. But I think I'm just gonna go like this. Locking it so far. You can still see a little bit of the stamping and the splatters and all that fun stuff. This is a really easy, simple layout. Um, this one on bottom since it's bigger 
and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and tuck this one up in there. Oh, these gnats. All this rain, like, I don't know, it's like bug city. It's been crazy. It's rained for 500 million days at this point. It's like I need to be building an ark. <laughs> oh, it's been crazy, y'all. I've been getting rain pretty much every day. Okay, I'm just going to add some up here. That night is driving me crazy. Um, I'm going to just tuck this. Let's see if I can pull this up. So I'm just going to tuck this down in there. And then, probably tuck this one. I did ink these um, beforehand with my ground espresso ink. I don't know if I said that or not. Even though they've all the Jurassic Park layouts have been a little bit different, um, I've still been trying to like incorporate like some of the same stuff so that they all go together. Um, it's really not a big deal if they don't, um, because I'm just all over the place with my scrapping and all that anyhow, so, so I want to tuck it in there, I'll tuck it in here, I think I'll tuck it in like that, okay, now, there's that part done. Press all this down. I did cut out the word roar um, with my Cricut, and I've done lost an O. Why does this always happen? Like, every time I'm filming, like, for real, I will lose a letter. There it goes. Okay. Huh. All right. I'm thinking about putting this down here. Um, let me play and just put stuff down for a minute because I did not plan this layout ahead. I just pulled elements and thought I'm going to roll with it. Um, there isn't a, a list of people participating for mixed media uh, mayhem. Like, I guess on the weekly part, I just recently found out about it um, myself. Um, but there is a Facebook group that you can go and join and see what people are posting. Um, I think I kind of like that, but I feel like it covers up all of my little, my little splatteries. Um, I could do that so it covers up the pink part on my shirt. Um, okay. Sorry for this squeaky chair. I'm going to have to oil it. It's getting on my nerves, so I know it's probably getting on y'all's. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe that'll stay on. Normally, I'll use tacky glue for that stuff, but um, I'm just using what I got out on the table tonight. Okay. This is looking all jumbled up because it is all over the place. Okay. But that's okay. Everything don't have to be perfect. It don't have to be straight. Just adds a little bit of character and some motion to the page. Okay. I'm just glad this thing didn't move. <laughs> It just stayed still, but if it would have moved and like I felt like a dinosaur was really after me, you better believe I'd be getting up out of there in a hurry. It would have been the movie, like for real, in real life. I would have been rolling up out there. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put some foam tape on the back of this. And I'll probably just journal and add like the date and, you know. 
but it was at Universal Studios. Okay, I'm going to put this up a little bit so that it covers up the pink on my shirt. And then maybe I'll do that. Um, and that'll cover up the pink on my shirt. I mean, it really doesn't matter if the pink's covered up. I had on a shirt that was more Simpson-ish um, for that day. Because each day I try to do a different theme from the park. So, um, Okay. Hopefully that'll stick good. If not, I'll have to take my tacky glue and go back and glue it down. Um, and then I just need to trim off like these little edges that went over. And then, oh, here's this one down here. I'll have to journal um, on there. And... I don't know. I want to kind of put more white splatter on. I wonder if I can do it without getting it on everything else. Let's see if I can lay it over top of this. We shall attempt it. Um, let's see here. to get some up here. Okay. Even though it got on the leaves, might as well add a little bit on the leaves down here now just to make it match, kind of. Okay. Mm, I think I like it. I, I want a little bit of white there since I done brought it everywhere else. Okay. Okay, I think I like it. Like I said, I'm going to journal. Um, I have my three elements on there that was given to us. Green, something wet, and wood. So, until next time. Bye, y'all.